Greetings, all. Our current subject is syllable types, and more specifically, how we address syllables in kindergarten. We will summarize and discuss three of the six syllable types. Syllables are the beat or rhythm of our language. Breaking apart words into syllables is a phonological awareness skill. Students will need to understand syllables to help with reading and spelling multisyllabic words. Syllables are best taught through modeling and shared activities, where students are tapping or clapping out syllables. Students' names are a good choice to use when beginning this process. Here is an example of an activity you can do with young students. Hickety pickety bumblebee. Who can say their name with me? Paula. Let's clap it. Paula. Snap it. Paula. Whisper it. Paula. Then repeat with a few more names. The explicit definition of a syllable is a syllable is a word or a part of a word with one vowel sound. This definition can be taught to kindergartners, but what is more appropriate for this age group is for them to understand what a syllable is through modeling and practicing. The mnemonic on the screen is used to help us remember the six syllable types. With knowledge of the six syllable types, 85% of English words are decodable. The most challenging part of our English language is choosing the correct vowel sound in words. Knowledge of these six syllable types gives students a reliable visual pattern to decode words correctly. It is important to note that this clover mnemonic is not representative of the order in which syllable types are taught. In kindergarten, the words that students read are, in fact, closed syllables, even though that syllable type is not specifically taught to them. The reason we use closed syllable words is that we are working on helping students become automatic on short vowel sounds. Eventually, we introduce that vowels can say their name through open syllables and magic E syllables. The other three syllable types are not introduced in kindergarten. I would now like to go over the three syllable types we cover in kindergarten and complete some practice activities. We are going to walk through these syllable types as adults to gain a better understanding of the definitions, and then we will pare down this information and demonstrate how to teach this as it applies to kindergarten students. In your manual, we would like for you to complete the following activity for identifying open syllables. An open syllable has one vowel, ends with a vowel, so the vowel says its name. Using the word bank at the top of the page, we would like for you to look at each pattern visually. Remember that the advantage of identifying a syllable type based on its visual characteristics allows you to rely on your knowledge of syllable types to support your decoding or pronunciation of those syllables and words. This is, in fact, the benefit older students have from learning syllable types. Adults tend to pronounce and listen to the vowel sound to determine the syllable types. It's the reverse process that we want to practice now, to deepen our understanding of syllable types. Looking at the word bank, our first syllable is the syllable H-E, and the questions at the top will support us in this activity. So how many vowels do you see? One. How does it end? It ends with a vowel, doesn't it? So is it an open syllable? Yes, it is. So let's put that in the open column, H-E. Our next syllable is S. P I T. Again, the questions. How many vowels do you see? One. How does it end? With a consonant. So is it an open syllable? No, it's not. If not, why not? So we put S P I T in the not column and we add it ends with a consonant. Before you complete the rest, I want to draw your attention to the yellow box at the bottom of the screen. It provides some additional information. It tells us that syllables ending in Y are in fact open syllables. And Y says I at the end of a one-syllable word. By, shy, try. Y usually says E at the end of a two-syllable word. Happy, silly, candy. So with that background, pause and complete this worksheet. The answers will be displayed and discussed when you resume the video. Looking at our completed sheet under the column Open, 
we see that the following syllables are words H E W O S T A S H Y T E P L U. Let's read the ones that we know we sorted into open He, Wo, Stay, Shy, T, Plu. Then we can look at the ones that are not open. We've already talked about spit. F A V E has how many vowels? It has two, doesn't it? So it's not open. L O A T has how many vowels? It has two, and it ends with a consonant, so it's clearly not open. And G O O has how many vowels? Two. Now we're going to do an activity to identify closed syllables. A closed syllable has one vowel, ends with a consonant. So the vowel says its sound. The first word we have is S U B. We look at the questions at the top and we say, How many vowels do you see? One. How does it end? With a consonant. Is it closed? Yes. So write S U B under the closed column, please. I T. How many vowels do you see? One. How does it end? With a consonant. So is it closed? Yes, it is. So we put I T in the closed column. Our next word is S K Y. How many vowels do you see? One. How does it end? It ends with a vowel. So is it closed? No, it's not. Why not? Because it ends with a vowel. So we put S K Y. Ends with a vowel in the not closed column. With that, pause and complete this worksheet. When you start this video again, you'll see the answers with discussions. Now, looking first at the syllables in the closed column, you should have S U B I T F I S H P L I C K V I L L and B L A S H. Let's practice pronouncing these words. We would read sub, it, fish, plick, vil, and blash. Turning our attention to the not closed and why. S K Y we've already discussed. We have F L U. How many vowels do we see? One. How does it end? It ends with a vowel. So it's not closed. And it goes in the not closed column, indicating that it ends with a vowel. L E E T. How many vowels do you see? Two. So is it closed? No. So we put it in the not closed column. L E E T. Two vowels. Finally, T A N E. How many vowels do you see? Two. Again, it goes in the not closed column, indicating that it has two vowels. Turning our attention to the box at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a mention of short vowel exceptions. The point with short vowel exceptions is that they are not considered closed syllables. They look like closed, but if we think about the word b a n k, it has one vowel and ends with a consonant. But does that vowel say a? Not really, does it? It says bank. Other patterns that look like closed syllables are vowel teams and bossy r words. Examples include words that end with vowels followed by an r, or vowel teams that end with a w or e i g h. Our last activity will help us identify magic e syllable types. A magic e syllable has two vowels in this order: one vowel followed by one consonant and a silent e. The e is silent, so the vowel before it can say its name. Look at the first word, m a k e. Do we have two vowels? Yes, we do. Are they in their required order? One vowel followed by one consonant and a silent e. Yes, they are. So, what kind of syllable is it? It's a magic e syllable. Let's try b a r e. Do we have two vowels? Yes. Are they in the required order? One vowel followed by one consonant and a silent e. Yes. So, what kind of syllable is it? We call these magic e syllables. 
I want to acknowledge that words with the pattern, vowel, then an R, then a silent E, are considered magic E syllables. While they do not make a clear long vowel sound, due to the impact of the R, they are considered more long than short. If we think about the example star, and we add an E, it becomes stare. The E does change that vowel sound. Pause and complete this worksheet. When you resume, you'll find the answers. Let's look at how we did with our magic E syllables. Looking at the magic E column, we see the words make, bear, time, drove, poos, and foon. In the not magic E column, S-H-E contains one vowel. Z-E-A-K has two vowels, however, they are touching and not in the correct order. G-L-E-E-V-E -E -E contains three vowels. And then W-E-T-C-H has only one vowel, so it is not a magic E. Now we're going to demonstrate how to teach kindergarten students that vowels can say their name and that Y is a vowel at the end of a short word. The script and other teacher information is on the screen, as well as in your manual. All right, so teachers, I'm going to demonstrate how we um, teach uh, vowel names in a kindergarten-friendly way with open syllables. All right, so I have some new information for you today. We know our vowels and what they say. I'm going to run through and have you tell me what you know already about these vowels. This says... Um, ah. Ah. I. Ah. Uh. So we know that those vowels and those letters say those sounds. I have another oh. sound. Vowels can also say their name. Wow. What can they say? Their name. Their name. And so sometimes when they're in words, they open their mouth and say their name when they're at the end of the word. Where? At the end of the end word. End of the word. They open their mouth and say their name. So let's run through these vowels and say their name. Okay. So this one is? A. E. I. O. And U. So from now on, when these are in our visual drill, I'm going to tap twice because we're going to work on both sounds. This one would be? A. Oh, A. A. Nice job. This one would be? A. E. I. I. A. O. A. U. Nice job. So we're going to focus on that sound and we're going to read some words with that name, with a vowel name, okay? So let's look at some words here. All right. All right, so wait for me to write the word, okay? I have some questions for you. All right. So how many vowels do you see in this word? One. Where is the vowel in the word? At the end. Oh, remember when it's at the end, it opens its mouth and says its name. What's the name of this vowel? Oh. So let's read this word. Go. Nice job. Let's try another one. Wait till I write the word. All right. How many vowels do you see? One. Where is the vowel? At the end. What does the vowel do when it's at the end? Oh, it opens its mouth and says its name. What's the name of this vowel? E. The word is? She. Let's try another one. How many vowels? One. Where is it? At the end. What does it do when it's at the end? Opens its mouth and says its name. What's the name of the vowel? Oh. So this one is? So. Let's go back and practice. Go, she, so. Let's do a few more. How many vowels? One. Where is it? At the end. What does it do when it's at the end? Opens its mouth and says its name. What's the name? E. And the word is? We. All right. How many vowels? One. Where is it? At the end. What does it do when it's at the end? Opens its mouth and says its name. The name? I. The word? Hi. All right. And where are... How many vowels? <laughs> One. Where is the vowel? Uh, at the end. What does it do when it's at the end? Oh, it opens its mouth and says its name. So this says? Oh. This word is? No. Let's practice. We, hi, no. Nice job. So teachers, that's a kindergarten friendly way that we introduce open syllables and how vowels can say their name. Um, again, you would go through and do your extensions and practice um, how those vowels say their name at the end of the word.
All right, so teachers, I'm going to demonstrate um, how we teach when Y becomes a vowel to our students. So students, I have some new information for you today. We know this letter. What letter? Y. And it, it when it's at the beginning of a word, it says Y. Yeah. And it's a consonant. So Y can also be a vowel. What can it be? A vowel. So Y becomes a vowel when it's at the end of the word. When is Y a vowel? At the end of a word. At the end of a short word. And it says something different. It says I. What does it say? I. So letter Y can say I, and the keyword is fly. What's the keyword? Fly. Fly. So we're going to skywrite. Y says I three times. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Y says I. Y says I. Y says I. Y says I. <laughs> I think extra I got one. an extra Good. one in there. All right. So the letter is? Y. And what can Y say? Um, it says I. And then what's my keyword? Fly. Fly. And it says I where? At the end of a short word. And it becomes a vowel. vowel. Nice job. So let's take a look at some words and how that would work in our words, okay? We'll practice that sound. All right, so let's take a look here. Ooh, let's look at that keyword. All right. Where is the Y in the word? At the end. Oh, what does Y say at the end? I. And so this word is? Fly. Let's do another one. Where is the Y in the word? At the end. What does it say at the end? I. This word is? Try. Mm -hmm. Where is it in the word? Uh, at the end. What does it say? I. My. Nice job. Go back and practice. Fly. Try. Hi. Good. And then teachers, you would do another column and get some more extensions and invitations in for your reads. And so that's a kindergarten friendly way to teach Y as I in a vowel. You will see a demonstration of how to teach Magic E to kindergarten students in another video. This concludes the syllable type segment of training.